What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So in today's video, we're going to be customizing the JB700, the normal one. Now I did customize the JB700 weaponized variant about four years ago when it released and also a James Bond build about seven months ago. However, a lot of you guys wanted to see me customize the regular JB700 as well. So this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one and used to be available from the Legendary Motorsport website for 350,000. However, it was sadly removed with the recent Mercenaries DLC. But if you still want to acquire this variant, Please refer to the video in the pinned comment explaining the methods on how to get removed website cars if you haven't seen it already. In regards to performance, the regular JB700 and the W variant have identical performance. Now they're both in the Sports Classics class and are around mid-pack in that class for track performance, which honestly isn't too bad considering the regular one is an OG car. However, remember that the weaponized variant cannot be used in races, but the regular one can. Now, in terms of what the JB700 is based on, it's primarily based on the Aston Martin DB5, mixed with the DB4 GT Zagato. I think it's a great looking car, however, I've always found it annoying how it has the fender mounted guns that don't work and they actually cannot be removed, and ironically, the only way you can hide those guns is by purchasing the weaponized variant and not applying the weapon upgrade on it. So. Very strange the way Rockstar went about that, but anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the original JB700. Alright, regular JB700, let's do it. Alright, we got armor, brakes, engine, lights. I think I'll keep the stock like white lights on there. Plate, I already got my Aston plate on there. I'll just give it a black background. Respray. Um, honestly, I feel like the the gray or silver color is is very iconic. You know, um, I mean, we could go with like a dark green or something, but I mean, just other colors just don't look right on this car. Like blue, that to me looks terrible. The light blue is not bad. Um, even like uh, like red, green, the orange, they just don't look right to me. Um, and I, I kind of want to keep that you know that that silver color. So we're gonna go to metals. And we're gonna do a brushed aluminum. So a little bit of a twist to it. This is a nice, br really bright, um, like aluminum gray look. It, it looks kind of like wet silver paint. I think that just looks so, so nice. So we'll do that there. Um, Kriblum for this car goes on the hood. Okay. Suspension. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. Not a huge difference. I mean, I guess it's, it, 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 may have, it definitely helps the way it looks. Okay, we'll do that. Transmission, turbo, wheels. Now, I do, I do think the wheels on this car, I mean, they're so iconic, you know, the knockoff wheels. Um, and I do want to keep these, but I want them to be a bit brighter and a little bit larger. And if you go to a lowrider category, and you go to, you could do regular or chrome, uh, but obviously this is alloy, I want the full chrome. We could do the wired, and that just looks awesome. You can see the difference there, just a little bit bigger. Full chrome, it just looks fantastic on this car in combination with that bright paint. I absolutely love that. Um, windows, should we do some light smoke? I think we should, I mean, instead of, you know, a full fishbowl look, just a little bit of light smoke tints on there, and that's all the options. All right, exit to ground, let's take it for a drive here. I mean, you really can't expect much from an OG, especially a sports classics uh, class vehicle. These didn't really have all that much customization. Um, you know, the cars like the Monroe and all that, and the Z-Type. Um, this is another one of those cars where, you know, it's just simple internal mods and stuff, but this thing in this color I think is absolutely gorgeous, man. That is awesome with those wheels, too. Love it. Going to the sun here. Look at that. Oh! Oh, man. Absolute beaut. I just wish we could hide those stupid guns like I talked about earlier. It, it, it's sad that you have to spend a million dollars more to do that. <laughs> but anyways, first person, here's the interior. So they have like the typical like copy paste muscle car interior here. All right. And what is that? Like a, a, a receipt or something on the on the dash? Okay. I never haven't seen that one before. At least I can't remember. But all right, floor it. 
sounds pretty good. This one's very similar to the Casco. Obviously, the Casco came out after this car, but it, it sounds pretty similar. It even revs the same way. It revs really slow, but once it gets going, I mean, this, this thing is, is very quick. I mean, for what it is, it's... <laughs> it, it moves good. It, it's no slouch, that's for sure. See how it takes a corner here. Oh, let's just step out a little bit. Of course, there's no spoiler upgrade, so that definitely hurts it there, but... Oh, tight corner here. Ah, so much traffic in the way. Oh, there it is stepping out. Mid-drive, which is double clutch. It works decently. Yeah, not bad. This thing's this thing's quick. Look at that. Got those look at those guns in first person. That just kinda takes away from it, especially since they're like a really low texture and all that. This is max speed right here. Not bad for a sports classics car. Not bad at all. Dun da dun 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 Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> As we hit a car. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and go up here and uh, oh, a little bit of a camera, cinematic camera there. Well, let's uh, open all the doors and stuff. Vehicle doors and nice, everything opens up. The engine model here, what is that, a V12? Yeah, V12, sick. Um, obviously, you know, the texture quality, <laughs> uh, got some Minecraft bricks in there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, again, 20, from a distance, you know, it's not bad, but as you get close, then it gets pretty bad, but, again, 2013 OG car, you really can't expect much. The interior, again, we talked about, muscle car interior, the trunk, the trunk's not bad. Yeah, I mean, at least everything opens up and stuff. Not a bad car, I mean, especially for its price, I think 350000 for this thing is an absolute gift, you know? Now, obviously, if you want it without the guns, you're going to have to buy the JB700W, the weaponized variant, like I talked about earlier, where it has the little covers, and it doesn't have the guns. And then if you want the guns, you actually have to pay for it as an upgrade, and those actually work. But then the regular one, it has the guns, but it's just there for decoration. They, they don't work, and there's no way to take them off. <laughs> ah, Rockstar. Ah, Rockstar. Always. Uh, they always find a way. And it is a removed website car, too, so... I guess maybe more of an incentive to try to get just or just buy the W variant instead, but then you can't race with it. But you probably wouldn't race with it anyways because it's like a mid-tier sports classics car. So plus the W variant is like a million dollars more than this one. So <laughs> up to you. But if you can somehow acquire the regular one, I think for three hundred fifty thousand, very good price. Anyways, guys, again, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car you want to see me customize next that I haven't done. As always, the list is down below, and I'll see you in the next one.